Good evening, esteemed Board of Directors for World Wide Vista Fund. It is a huge honor to briefly join you today in your today's meeting. I'm called Sarah Omega. I am the founder and the executive director of Let's End Vistula Initiative. Um, to, today, um, joining you in order to share briefly about LEFIS programs. And uh, I'll be focusing today on our prevention component. Under our prevention component, uh, we have uh, three programs. We have the Safe Motherhood component, which is mainly carried out by FISLA survivors. And we also have Young Champions FISLA clubs, uh, which we do in partnership with the Ministry of Education uh, through high schools. Uh, we also have adolescent mothers uh, th that uh, we are also doing this in partnership with high school, um, high schools and, uh, and other religious groups. And uh, the fourth and I would say the newest um, uh, project is the community engagement. Today, my focus will be on the Safe Motherhood component, which we launched in 2019 with the goal of preventing maternal deaths and complications from happening. And uh, through this component, we are addressing the first two delays that happen at the community level that actually uh, uh, lead to maternal deaths and uh, complications such as fistula. That is the delay to seek medical attention, the delay in getting to the facility. And uh, we do this uh, um, uh, through, you know, fistula survivors who are in solidarity groups. We trained uh, fistula survivors in the solidarity groups on uh, prevention messaging. And uh, the messaging is based on four pillars of safe motherhood, where our focus was mainly on, you know, utilization of antenatal care, ensuring every expectant woman delivers under skilled birth attendant, uh, male involvement, and childbirth preparedness. And being women who've already, you know, suffered uh, this childbirth injury, they use their stories, you know, to caution other women in their communities that are, um, if you don't do the right thing, you'll find yourself in this space. And the, the bit about it, they on, not only go out there and say, okay, ensure that you deliver in a, in a hospital, but they attach, you know, their stories to this uh, prevention messaging. Like, for instance, a woman will say, you know, uh, I'm so and so, I lived with this club for this number of years. And uh, the reason as to why I found myself in this space is because I delivered um, with the help of a traditional birth attendant. And therefore, I'm urging you, uh, or I'm urging you, my fellow women, ensure when you are, you are, when you are about to deliver, ensure you seek. Uh, medical attention. Alongside the prevention uh, messaging, uh, these women track every pregnant woman in their communities. And the goal for doing this is to actually do the work with this woman. Uh, and that is during pregnancy and even after she has delivered. And during this period, our goal is to ensure that this woman, ha, you know, uh, utilizes the antenatal care services. Uh, she has a, a, a saving plan just to ensure, you know, she has money uh, in order to address, you know, the second delay of how to get to the, to the facility. So... Uh, bus fare or transportation doesn't become an issue. Then also work very closely with the family and especially the support from the spouse. And um, we do this um, 
And again, as they approach uh, the day of delivery, we start drumming, you know, uh, the messaging around, you know, ensuring that they deliver under a skilled birth attendance. And in fact, when she gets into, the, into labor, she is accompanied by a, at least a woman from the, for, from, um, from the solidarity group, especially the woman who has been tracking her, uh, accompanies her to the health facility. As a result of uh, referring every pregnant woman we track to deliver um, at the health facility, there's been a huge reduction of uh, women now delivering uh, at home under traditional birth attendant. And uh, recently I had um, an opportunity to engage with the, uh, 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 about three local health facilities um, that we partner with. And uh, it, it was encouraging to hear from, you know, the, the nursing charge uh, give the same positive report. And therefore, uh, um, I'm excited, uh, I'm motivated to continue doing this uh, because it is bringing us close to a place of, uh, you know, childbirth being an event of celebration rather than uh, the source of the many hard tech stories we hear. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and... Uh, um, I'm forever grateful for the, the support You've, you have accorded us so far and you continue to accord us as, as an, an organization to keep on doing the important work we do. Thank you.